Hey guys, Randy Reviews coming with another uh, ultra horror show for you called Murder Camp. Um, sounds uh, right up my alley, just by the name Murder Camp, you know, Friday the 13th vibes. So, uh, yeah, let's get right into this. remember what that word is. Well, it means you think these are going to be the best years of your life, so you're going to destroy your body with drugs and alcohol, and then one day, when you realize time is real, you're going to regret every decision you've ever made and sink into an unfathomable depression that will swallow you whole. Want to make out? Ew. Let me rephrase that. Want to make out? Come on, Vex. When's the last time you cut loose? Fine. I will make out with you for 20 minutes, but that's it. All my clothes stay on. Undershirt over bra? Written in the dark. Okay. Never try Hell yeah, brother. Go back your cap. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? It's my night. What are you talking about? The first Thursday, it's the full moon. It's my night. Tonight is the crow. I love how this has the Friday the 13th vibe to it. Bullshit. No, no. Come down here, I'll show you. I'm right here. Uh oh. Oh, well, like his mask, his gas mask. Okay, well, someone's obviously in one of their moods tonight. Whatever, I'm going back to the corner. Rivalry. Hey, are you okay? I'm fine. Oh, this doesn't look like fun. Well, I am. Oh, I'm fine. Okay, okay, let's reel it in, brother. Okay, you've been acting weird for weeks now, and now this? <laughs> the guys. Not sure Mr. Crow Sabbath, I mean, this is not like you. Yeah, well, maybe I'm not like me right now. Maybe I'm... It doesn't matter. I'll see you tomorrow. You can tell me how it went. Bro, what's going on? Nothing. Good business, Scarecrow. Glattman, I'm your best friend, and I know when something's going on. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I'm super into this anymore. This what? This lifestyle. What are you talking about? I don't know if this is what I want to do with my, like, <laughs> one wild and precious life anymore. What does know? that even mean? I'm, just, I'm trying to figure out, Kevin. We've been doing this for over 50 years. I know. I know that. And it's not like I have uh, any regrets about it. Th these have been some of the best 50 years of my life. This is your life. Camp Creek River. You remember the summer of 83. You sacrificed 16 souls to the crow god that night. Of course I remember that. It's an incredibly special memory. Crow Sabbath. Maybe Cut that I want to start trying to create new kinds of memories. Well, why the heck would you want to go and do something like that? This isn't just a work thing, is it? 
with their best friends and above serial killers. You're gonna give me the business. Nice. I'm not gonna give you the business. I promise. I promise. I think you promise. Stamp it. Gosh. I met someone. Oh, Greg. You said you wouldn't give me I'm the business. I'm not get. What's her name? Pauline. Why don't you two even meet? On the internet. She's an incredible Kevin. She's smart. 50? You say 50? Funny. She like gets me on like a cellular level. She okay, reminds 50. me of oh. She reminds me of Tabitha. Oh, there it is, Gregory. Tabitha and your friends left you for dead in the cornfield after she pretended mm -hmm. to like you ever heard of peer pressure, idiot? We had a real connection. You shucked her skin off, Greg. Whatever, Pauline's different. Oh, they're always different. What is that supposed to mean? Ooh. Pauline's not like the others. A, I've never met someone online before. B, we chat for hours about things you can't even business. understand, like poems. <laughs> oh, wow. So you're going to meet her in real life. That's on the future to happen. You know you're going to meet her in real life. Her full of hay. Well, maybe knowing her in this capacity first will humanize her enough so they don't have to shuck and stuff her. <laughs> you can't change your nature, dude. Nature is changed, <laughs> dude. Oh, so you're gonna, you're gonna take her to the soda fountain? One malt, two straws? You're gonna give her your promise ring? Hey, look, man. When the swamp hag cursed me for stealing her daughter's virginity, she gave me a destiny. Just like the crow god did for you. That is not my life. This is... But is this a life? I mean, what do we do? Four months out of the year, we chase a bunch of horny teenagers and wear their faces or suck their brains out of their eye sockets or make big tree structures out of their arms and legs or feed them to each other or sow the still alive ones to the dead ones and leave them in the cornfield for the growth. <laughs> or we just cut them in half with a sort of top-down situation or we take their hearts out or we beat them to death with each other's spines or tie them up in a big naked ball and roll them down the mountain <laughs> and the top beyond that what what do we do for the rest of the year huh i sit in my cornfield alone and you sit in your swamp alone is that it what is our purpose oh, hey buddy come on this is a great, I don't care if they kill anybody. Think about, think about the best times you've had in your life. What are you doing in them? Murdering? Yeah. So do you think Pauline's going to be cool with you just going out and murdering? Maybe. Oh, get real, Hoss. I have to imagine she's like a normal person, which you most definitely are not. You are a pagan, ritualistic serial killer. It's never going to work out. If you ask me, that's a lot they do. It sounds like you're kind of shaming him. <laughs> Kevin and Melton. Uh, Drop the act. I know what's going on. You know nothing, mortal child. Um, I know you don't really talk like that. Are you making sense? What? No, you're doing that. Oh, she's little Pete. How much did you hear? Since the thing about offering souls to the crow god. Oh, son of a biscuit. Fuck my ass. Actually, Greg. Gregory. Greg is cool. Greg, I think Pauline sounds great. And you bring up some really salient points. It sounds like you might have some unresolved attachment stuff. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. How did you know that? I'm a psych major. There's obviously a lot of love here. <laughs> but Kevin... Hi, Kevin. I'm Becky. Kevin, what I'm getting from you is an unwillingness to accept the fact that your friend might be evolving in a way that makes you feel threatened. Okay, uh, this is boring. I'm getting bored now. Is that going to make things go back to the way they were? It's going to make me feel <laughs> awesome. Has it ever made you feel awesome? Has it ever filled the void? Oh, he was doing that. I was wondering where that was coming from. Don't have a void. Oh my god, you have the hugest void. Okay, hold on, Greg. Let's give him some space to process. Kevin, <laughs> would you be willing to pause and consider the possibility that Greg meeting someone might arouse feelings of jealousy or envy or 
even fear at confronting your own loneliness. I'm not afraid of anything, okay? I'm literally the, the butcher, butcher of Black, Black Mountain. Mountain. Hmm. Uh, when was the last time you came? Oh, she is. Well, I can't because this won't. I won't let you. So. Well, I'm not talking about your physical body geographically. I, I mean your emotional body or the pain body in a Tolian sense. When was the last time you entered into the world, saw a real connection? Never. Oh, kick rocks, Greg. What? The only reason that hey, you said... I feel... I feel that the only reason you're not afraid of anything is because you structured your life so as to completely avoid the unknown. Wow. Kevin? I could eat your whole head. I'm loving this third piece right. system. Can you system. Eat, as it were, the truth of what your friend is saying? Can you digest it? Can you really take it in? What am I taking your stupid face in my buttonhole? Okay, you're deflecting. Kevin. Kevin, look at me. You've reached a crossroads in this relationship. You can either sit down stubbornly in the middle of the road, head back the way you came alone, or head toward a possibly dazzling new horizon with beloved friend Another gentler road to travel. Maybe we can. Bex, you okay? Are you fucking kidding me? That was like the most beautiful moment I've ever seen. No way, they were gonna kill you. No, Break they through. were not. They were changing. It was happening. They were shattering a paradigm. Oh my fuck. I've never shot a gun before. That was so hot. So turned on right now. Let's fuck. Get away from me. Come on, I'm a hero now. Let's fuck. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you are not a hero. You are nothing. Nothing. You're just a second string old cross, Claire, who's probably gonna <laughs> date rape some college girl and then get acquitted and then become a politician. You piece of fuck. You camp counselor. I am doing the world a favor! I am doing the world a favor! I am doing the world a favor! Jesus, I thought she shot him. Angel, do I have wings? Do I have huge burning wings? Heck yeah, you do! Tio. Is this how you guys feel all the time? Pretty much. I'm in. Becky, why don't we wait a minute and... So Chan it, pussy. Do you guys want to get the rest of the counselors? You bet your bottom. Wow! It's fuck time, my babies! I love this chick! What'd you call me? Uh, I love the strong and autonomous woman with agency. That's right. And don't you forget it, or I'll make you my dirty little dog ass prison dog dog yard bitch. Now let's roll. Yes, that was brutal. Yes, ma'am. Oh, they already did. Hey, guys, wait up.
<laughs> okay, guys, that was murder cam. Um, I really liked it. You know, very funny, very uh, comedic. I like those types of uh, horror shorts. You know, I, mean, I like I like horror, but I also like the comedy, mixed comedy. But um, you know, I really like the Becky uh, Becky character. You know, and she killed the the boyfriend in self defense. I guess you could say. But I really liked it. I really liked the scarecrow guy and the mountain man, whatever you call him. You know, um, very funny. You know, I, I like these uh, summer camp part of the thirteenth uh, type of shorts. You know, fifteen minutes and didn't go like it. You know, what happens when two clear colors strike at the same camp, so to speak? You know. As you can tell, the reaction I was laughing most of the time, you know, very funny, you know, the comedy really hit me, you know, but, um, let me know in the comments, did you like this one, did you not like this one, you know, you like horror and comedy, just like straight up horror, you know, just kind of let me know, you know, where you sit with it, you know, so, uh, yeah, that's gonna be it, um, like, comment, subscribe, any, feed any feedback, give feedback, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.